That's right, because we have the first team ready to come on stage. So please, let's welcome them. It is OG! Tomorrow, DZM, Whisper, Ari, and Seb. They made it to the upper bracket in the group of death, but suffered the loss against Tundra. They are well rested after that match, and now they have to bring everything they got to not be eliminated. And their opponents, it's PSG Quest! TA 2000, Noob, Malik, Omar, and Ducalis have been fighting out for so long at this tournament. Surely the journey won't end now because it was last year that Quest Esports managed to get a top eight finish at a Riyadh Masters 2023 and show everyone what this team was capable of. Let's see if they can replicate that again this year on PSG Quest or if the journey ends here. I feel like their Earth Spirit TA brand means they want to pick Coddle. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I think there's a high chance. Why not? Ooh, a Beastmaster, oh, man. How about wow, that? Wow, that, that, that fits the archetype. Yeah. I just didn't expect it for this team, especially when the Snapfire is banned. If you're... Oh, okay, spirit. go for the a melee. Spirit that was still in the pool. He's got one mid, and he's got one bottom to be able to reduce that regen of those heroes. So pretty interesting stuff, and glad to be seeing people using those necrotic webs. Oh my goodness, they got it! And I think it's the webs. These webs actually add up how much they reduce. Yeah, it's the li it absolutely it's gonna make a little bit of extra, extra difference indeed when you're trying to survive as a morph against that sort of damage coming out. And they've got three heroes top looking for TA2000. He's able to sneak, and now Omar has arrived to be able to try to counteract this. Whisper is level five, though. Level three axes are painful. TA2000 is just gonna turn and stop fighting into Seb. Seb. He's dead! Trade. Yeah, we'll indeed lose Omar, but TH2000 getting a kill out of this one after OG were the team to bring three heroes top. I mean, I don't think Quest is going to be too upset about that as the carry continues to have a very good start on the Absolutely. brood. Absolutely. Just does have to be cautious of being dove. Especially that the Mars is in the area. Void Spirit's going to make the move. Mars is here. Mars is trying to scout stuff, but uh, they, they'll quickly turn towards him. PZM waiting. See what he's got. But the arena is just a set up on towards the Enigma. Steps up towards the Carlos. They've got the out. They've got the Roar onto TA2000. They don't have to follow up damage, though. So TA2000 is perfectly fine. BZM now TVs. Quest can turn over towards BZM. He's going to try for the TP up, but the Primal split into the stun comes into play from Malik. And they're able to put a stop to BZM's escape. So again, OG trying to make these aggressive plays top. Whisper. A quest, they might catch him also. Hard. I think they will. I mean, he has the TP, but Malik's going to have a stun at the ready if he goes for it. He'll use it towards the end of the split. Make sure they have enough damage to bring Whisper down. As Whisper also to fall. This this area of the map, it's just not been a solid spot for OG to make moves. It's his left bottom for a moment. Does go up to, you know, 3,400 net worth. But that Brood being enabled yeah. nicely. He's going to get a bit of a nasty surprise here as Omar and Dukalis strike from the high ground. He's got back he's up from Ari, but he's pulled back by the Remnant, and Astral Step comes in, but the heal from the Summary, Seb's trying to keep BZM alive, dive but forward, but they cannot save BZM, and Seb, for his efforts, will also go down. And TA2000, look how aggressive they're playing, the Brood's in Whisper. I mean, this is I love it. exactly what you want to be doing with this Brood draft, right? Yes. You're just... You're, you're not only making sure that the TA2000 has the safe start, you can make sure that at all costs, the Brood does not get punished by those early rotations. It's like very important for both of them, and yeah, Quest just continues to play fast. A beautiful push. Really yes, Noob straight in with a follow-up. Seb's able to dive away just in time. BZM will drop the arena just to try and kill off the Hoodwink. Anyway. Follow-up stuff from Mari, they'll get him. Radiance bottom tower. Can get around the tier one. Noob. Feeling confident to go deep. Sees Whisper. Does he want to set up onto this? He will. He'll start things off. It's a roar, though. Ari's here. The roar in return. They get the stun follow up. Have they got the damage to bring down Noob? The root for the bird is enough to take him out. They kill off Noob. Now the they'll go for more. The arena combo. and the egg combo indeed in place. Quest, they've got to get out of here. They're trying to bring Ari down. The supernova star holds back the split. Ari, he's surviving down. through it all. They're indeed able to turn and play. just kill Malik off as well. OG, they take out the four of them. A complete strike back. Four for zero. Perfectly simple. Uh -oh. Perfectly synergized. The roar comes out almost instantly as he breaks the invis. Then the Nyx stun comes out. Then there's a Mars Arena plus an egg. You couldn't ask for a more beautiful yeah, fight from yeah, OG. This, this is a painful one for Quest. So he's got Max Sunray with the shard. I like it. It's been doing a lot. It has been. It's been saving heroes. It's going to be the jump four for Noob. See, Whisper. It's going to get caught by the silence. The Supernova and the Arena out. Can they take Look the at the egg down? I mean, it's burning. It's forever. melting them. And the Supernova is an easy success. It didn't even take a single hit on it. They couldn't even touch it. 
They've lost three here. They're going to lose Omar as well. Oh, there. West, is. this is absolutely disastrous for them. Out of control. What a. That was so nice from Seb, honestly. Just buying the shard right before the fight. Look at the just the Phoenix damage he's able to do. He hasn't needed to do too much aggressively in the team fight so far. It's just the fact that this hero, if it keeps farming, it will win this game. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's got one of the best quarter core matchups, it feels like, versus Brood. Yep. If the game doesn't end early. Yes. Yes. Sorry, it's a free kill. No. They, they, they can try and go for him once that BKB is down. Yeah, if they see him stepped out at all, they'll, they'll be able to kill him. Even Ari potentially can oh, go for him. Carlos. This, this, this again. assassin's causing a lot of issues for him now. Dead. BCM yeah, stealing, stealing the kills. Stealing Ari's kill. <laughs> a couple of times now. And Ari's like, he's putting all this effort. He's got himself this dag on. And BZM's the one to take all of them. Hey, maybe BZM's looking like, I'm the one who called for the Mars Flex. It's working. I'm taking all the kills. Away from and they're going to high ground already, Owen. Oh. They don't even need to wait for late yeah. game mid, though, BZM. Gets the jump onto BZM. But he's here. Dude, the summer is coming out. Whispers in off the high ground. They get the jump and they get the roll down onto Omar and they're ready to bring the push in onto the tier three. 21 minutes in. Hey, this what is are PSG Quest going to do? Hey, it, it, it just feels over. Except level two egg is online, too. What can they do here, PSG Quest? They need a, a black hole yesterday. Yes. Tomato, Daedalus online, level 15. Heroes are going to evaporate the jump. TA2000. The jump onto him. I mean, he's just getting completely he's... burst. The arena and the supernova out. Quest have to run. They've lost the brood. Dakar is dead as well. It's over, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> There's it, no way they can fight back. It's been over for a few minutes. Oh, yeah. It really has. I All mean, it took was two fights. Yeah. They've been scanned out as well. They're trying to get the smoke wrap around, but OG knew it was coming. Tomato. He's got Manta. He's got his team connecting. He's running toward them. Oh, I see an arena and a supernova coming in pretty hot pretty soon. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to happen. Him. Try and get the jump one. They burst. Let's see if they can burst if the supernova's in position. They're bringing him down. They Let's cannot. Away from outside. The black hole is only going to catch on a whisper. He's the supernova's going to go off successfully. The arena's laid down. Dakarlis will fall. TA2000 gets cleaned up by God's review. G G it's over. GG is called. OG take game one. 26 minutes in. That was... All right, that was pretty beautiful response there from OG, and yeah, I think we're going to see something completely different yeah. from PSG Quest. All it took was the <laughs> BCM, he like almost broke Seb's arm oh there. Goodness. The swing from he's him from Big up and ready to go there, BCM. <laughs> I mean, he's happy that he got to play mid-Mars, right? And he it did. Worked, it looked fantastic. Worked, worked pretty, the combos between him and Seb, right? The arena, supernova duo combo. He's going to want to do that again. Yeah. Uh, BZM's definitely going to be advocating to, to get to play some more mid-Mars this tournament. It was perfect. The you know We sometimes see these these uh, these heroes get picked together, even like a Mars and a Monkey King or something yeah. like that. In some games, you never see the combo come out. This uh, game, yeah, yeah. in the span of 20 minutes, we saw three perfect Mars ultis with a Phoenix yeah. on top. And there was no answer for these eggs. It pretty much count everybody every single time. They, oh, gee. They, did, yeah, they, they never killed the egg. Bro. I don't nope. even know if they ever hit the egg. I don't think they even hit it. It was that good. Uh, it was just the perfect dance for those two heroes. Looking to knock OG out of the tournament, and there it is. GG is called. PSG Quest take the game, take the series. They'll be moving on, and OG is the end of their run here at Rear Masters. Beautiful game. I, from start to finish, the draft couldn't ask for a better one there, a better Naga Siren pick. We haven't seen TA2000 busted out too much, but I don't think you could have asked for a better game from him. It's flawless, 6 0 and 7 on him. He gets early kills. But overall, in particular, you have to highlight the noob tiny. Right? There's, he got one of his top three heroes. Yeah, 15, and one of he 12. decimated the game. Like he, like BZM wasn't even able to show in lanes multiple times. They did kill him that one time bottom, but I feel like he kind of killed himself bottom because he was high fiving them and stuff like that. Ends up getting brought down the once, but overall, a fantastic game plan from PSG Quest. Yeah. Thank you very much. I am joined by Seb of OG, where unfortunately the journey ends here for OG. A heck of a game that you guys put on. What's going through your head right now as this tournament kind of is ending for you? Uh, I mean, disappointment for sure. Big disappointment. I think, um, I mean, we didn't have the best season, and I think we came into this tournament much stronger than what we ended up showing in the playoffs for sure. Um, so yeah, no, just big disappointment, honestly. Um, I think the door that we built uh, when we came in, not today, I think today we were heavily underperformed against Tundra also slightly. Uh, so yeah, the door that we played today was not up to the standards that we built. And I strongly believe that the standards we built could have brought us, you know, uh, maybe a top three this tournament. So obviously it's hard to, it's a hard, tough pill to swallow. Understandably so, but I appreciate the level-headedness. Uh, does that mean that the competitive season will be ending for you? Because obviously we know about the TI result. OG will be going to Elite League, but will you be attending? 
No, I will not be attending. Um, uh, you know, it's public knowledge that I became a father recently, so um, I'm going to just focus on that for now. Um, yeah, I also, I also feel like I'm reaching maybe the limits of like um, the, how much disappointments I can take, you know, because um, I really tried my hardest for this tournament. I think we we really built something strong. Um, didn't get to show it to the to the world, to the fans, which is the fans, which is my biggest disappointment. I think we only showed it to the other teams behind closed doors. I think every all, all the other teams probably also expected us to to place high, because uh, yeah, we were on a we, were, we had great momentum coming into this. Didn't get to show it, so that is my biggest disappointment. So I can only you know like stick to my words. Like we really tried as hard as we could. Uh, it came down to. Um, you know, pressure can maybe disconnect people, create some sort of doubt, or and I think there was a lot of that uh, going in the last series, which led to just poor Dora. Like I think we we did not manage to stay as strong as the team was, like as in United, as much as we should have. And that's just the rule of Dora. Like it's not only really about how good you are, or how good you play. It's like how strong can you be as a team. Um, yeah, and I think we failed to do that in this tournament. I, I can see that it definitely is having an impact, but on a happier note then, you're at least going to be able to go back home. What are you most excited to do when you finally get back? Parenthood, I guess. Not so far of what I've been doing this entire season. <laughs> so uh, hopefully I'm good enough at that. But now I'm just excited to release a, a little bit of the pressure, chill a bit, because it's, um, it's been exhausting, an exhausting process. A good one nonetheless, you know. Um, I'm very proud of what the boys put up. I mean, there was a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, and um, I'm proud of that. Competition is tough. I mean, it doesn't always pay off the way you expect it to. Uh, I just hope a lot of lessons were learned. Um, and then you just, yeah, life goes on, you move forward. At this moment, everything seems a bit dark, but it's not so dark. You know, you you wake up the next day and you get back at it. Maybe even you, even even the same day if you're if you're tough enough. So everything is good. Thanks for the support, and we really tried our best. It wasn't good enough, and you know, try harder, try harder, try better next time.